There could be a lot of reasons why most people get stopped out. And in this video, I'm going to cover the most common reasons why people get stopped out and lose money. First of all, I'm going to talk about time and draw liquidity, as that's where most people mess up in the first place. So here on the hourly time frame, we see the price tapped up into this CB that's within a premium. So price is most likely to react from this CB. So in that case, we know what the bias is and we know where the smart money reversal is most likely going to happen. So in that case, we can go down into the five minute time frame, and that's where I'm going to talk about how you guys most often get stopped out. Down here in the five minute time frame, I'm now going to talk about why you guys most often get stopped out. So we see the price is just in an intermediate term uptrend, making higher highs and higher lows. Then we tapped up into this hourly further gap. And if we're just looking on the five minute time frame and not paying attention to the hard time frame, we're going to get stopped out. And the reason for that is because we see the price taps up into this PDRA. And let's just say that we have not been looking at the high time frame and we see the price is just in an uptrend. In that case, we think that price is going to go higher. But we have not paid attention to the hourly CB. So let's just say that I see that this inversion further gap gets inversed. Then I think we're bullish as price is just going higher. So in that case, I'm going to take a trade entry, put my stop loss at this low, and then target 2 or or something like that. And what happens? Price stops us out. And there are most, mostly two common reasons for this. First of all is price make the smart money reversal. So in that case, now we're going in the market maker sell model, and every low is going to be low resistance liquidity, and every high is going to be high resistance liquidity. And the other reason is because price is not within any form of kill zone. As we see, it's 6 a.m. And the a.m. kill zone starts at 8.30. So in that case, the trade entry is a very low probability one. And we don't want to check this. Another thing that we have to pay attention towards is where the draw liquidity is. So we see the price create this intermediate term low. And this intermediate term low should not be ran before we make the smart money reversal. And we have made the smart money reversal, so in that case, this intermediate term low is going to be a target. But if I was just down on the one minute time frame or five minute time frame, looking for every possible trade entry, then I would most likely put my stop loss at this one hour intermediate term low and then target higher prices. But I've not seen that we have created this smart money reversal, so in that case, I'm going to just get stopped out. And now I'm going to show you an example on the one minute time frame. Down here on the one minute time frame, we can see that we have the hourly intermediate term low. And let's just say that we haven't paid attention to the smart money reversal. So that means we're still looking for long setups. And let's just go with this inversion further gap as our example. So we see the price inverses this inversion further gap. And we took a trade on trade the inversion further gap. Put our stop loss at this low. And then we targeted maybe the premium of the range or the equilibrium up here. So in that case, we think the price is most likely to draw towards this. But we have not paid attention. The price also have relative equal lows down here, which is one of the lows is the one hour intermediate term low. And we know the price is most likely to draw towards relative equal lows. So what the pr does price do? It takes out the relative equal lows. So the reason, or one of the reasons you get stopped out is you have not paid attention to the draw liquidity. As if you're going to long and we have relative equal lows, price is most likely to draw towards those relative equal lows. And instead of taking inversion value gap like this one, you should take one like this. See price have these relative equal lows. So in that case, we're going to be looking for short setups as we have also paid attention to the smart money reversal up here. So in that case, we short this one, put our stop loss maybe at this high, and then we target the relative equal lows. That would be much better than not paying attention to the higher time frame and not having any drawn liquidity. Just to show you guys what we have covered so far, we have covered the drawn liquidity and that was basically, we don't want to trade in the opposite direction of the drawn liquidity. And then also the sessions last time. And that's where we want to trade in the high probability sessions, which is the London AM and PM sessions. 
and also the time that we don't want to trade at 830 news drivers. So now we only need break even, model, emotions, and risk reward ratio, which we're now going to cover in the next example. Now we're going to talk about what emotions have to do with you getting stopped out. So let's just say you were to short this value gap right here, put your stop loss at this high, and then target any form of low. So let's just say this low down here because you think we were bearish. So in that case, we see you get stopped out. So instead of being frustrated and just trying to catch every bearish trade entry, you should just think the bias through again, look the trade through, what do you do wrong? Is the bias wrong? Have you misread the higher time frame? Because if you just keep revenge trading and taking every possible bearish trade entry, you're going to get low probability setups, and in that case, you're going to get stopped out. So let's just say where to take this entry right here, because I think price will still go down to this low. And I really haven't looked at the higher time frame, and I'm not following my model. So in that case, what do we see? We see price stops us out. So I really have to rethink everything through, and maybe just you know take the day off if you lose one trade, or just go back up to the higher time frame, look at the bias again, and if it's right, of course, you could take another entry if it's after your model. Next up, we're going to talk about what a model has to do with you getting stopped out. So let's say I were to take a trade entry at this inversion value gap, put my stop loss at this high and target internal range liquidity. And this is just based on the inversion value gap. No hard time for a bias or no drawn liquidity. So what happens here? I get stopped out. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is because I do not follow a specific model and I do not keep it consistently. Because if you don't follow a model and don't keep it consistent, you are not going to make any progress. And the reason for that is because when you're using a model, you're doing the same entry again and again and again, and then you can also track your progress. And also, you're not just taking any form of random trade entries without maybe, any, let's just say, any form of higher time for bias or any drawn quality. And I have made a video about that, so definitely recommend checking that out. So that's what a model or a strategy has to do with you getting stopped out. So far, we have gone through a drawn quantity, session slash time, a model, and emotions. Now we only need risk reward ratio and break even trades. So that's what we're going to talk about for the next example. Another way that you could save many losses is by putting your stop loss to break even. And now I'm going to show you when you should put your stop loss to break even. So let's say I were to take it, this entry right here, this value gap, put my stop loss at this high, and then target, let's say this low down here then I would get stopped out. But there's a reason why I shouldn't get stopped out here. So we see that we have internal range liquidity. So when price touches internal range liquidity, I'm now going to put my stop loss at break even. So then I put my stop loss to break even, and what does price do? It takes off and takes out my stop loss. So a way that you could save or when you should put your stop loss at break even is when price takes out internal range liquidity because then price could make a reversal after taking out internal range liquidity. And we also see that price had these relative equal lows down here or equal lows. So in that case, price ran these lows, which was internal range liquidity, and then took out our stop loss. Or in that case, we put our stop loss to break even. So then we take no loss. The last thing we're going to talk about is risk reward ratio. And the reason we want to talk about risk reward ratio is because it would give you another way to look at trading and, lo and also losses when trading, and that will help your emotions. So let's say that I were to risk $25, and that would be one R. And then I were to at least take a two R trade. So in that case, I would win $50. So then let's say I take a trade entry and I lose that trade. Then I'm down one. 20, one time $25. And then I'll take another trade. And what, what happens with that trade? Let's say I loss, lose it again. Then now I'm down two times $25, or I'm down $50, which means I'm down 2R. And that also means that I just have to win one winning trade with at least two risk reward ratio, and these two losses will disappear. And that means I'm at break even. So when you take a loss, you have to think that you can gain it back the double amount. And you just have to think it in risk reward ratio or a percentages because that will help your emotions a lot more when losing trades.